Hi everyone, I'm Melissa June Rowley coming to you from the United Nations in New York City for WISIS Plus 10. Joining me is Saeed Malouf of the Division of Public Administration and Development Management. He's here to tell us what we can expect from the next two days. Thank you, Melissa. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us from the General Assembly Hall in the United Nations headquarters in New York for the first ever broadcast of the General Assembly's high-level meeting regarding the World Summit on Information Society, or WISIS. You will hear that acronym many times throughout the day. So uh, this is a very exciting day happening here. Many high-profile participants, many important decisions to be adopted. Uh, and the stakes are high as the future of ICT for the next decade is being shaped here today. So all of this under the uh, umbrella of sustainable development goals. So what exactly is WISIS and how did it all get started? So it all started uh, back in 2001. The General Assembly adopted resolution 56-183 concerning the organization of the Summit on Information Society to be held in two phases. The first phase was in Geneva uh, from 10 to 12th of December in 2003. And the second phase in Tunisia from 16th to 18th of November 2005. So in Geneva, more than 11,000 participants, uh, including 50 heads of states and 82 ministers were present. And in Tunisia, we had over 19,000 participants, also many heads of states and about 197 ministers were there. So which has established a truly multi-stakeholder process, including governments, relevant uh, UN bodies, uh, NGOs, uh, civil society, and the private sector. And in the Tunis meeting, the General Assembly was requested to undertake the overall uh, implementation of the outcomes of WISIS in 2015 to be concluded by a two-day high-level meeting and this is exactly what's going on inside the GA uh, hall right now. So this high-level meeting is running in parallel to the uh, United Nations Counterterrorism uh, Committee which is uh, organizing a conference on cybersecurity to limit and end the use of ICT and internet for terrorism and cybercrime, as well as 15 side events happening here in different conference rooms. So this, this multi-stakeholder participation is essential to the successful building of a people-centered, uh, inclusive, and development-oriented information society. That includes uh, the private sector as well, which has an important role in the development of the internet, turning digital divide into digital opportunity. This also will provide uh, uh, an increasing and affordable global connectivity and access for all. So this high-level meeting today will provide an opportunity for in-depth uh, discussion on important issues in the implementation of the WUSIS outcomes, including the progress, gaps and challenges, as well as areas for future actions. Also, stakeholders today will address challenges, including bridging the digital divide and harnessing ICT for development. So this is a truly very exciting day happening here in the United Nations. Uh, please stay with us throughout the day. We will have interviews with uh, high profile CEOs, with government representatives and representatives of civil society as well. And you can also watch live via the UN webcast, the deliberations inside the General Assembly Hall as they take place. And also please stick around at the end of the high level meeting today. We will have a recap of the highlights and what to expect for tomorrow. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Here at the Digital Media Zone for a live coverage of Wixis Plus 10. Thank you.